The internet is filled with positive placid reviews. Any video you watch, any article you read, talks only positively about placid. When everything is so positive about placid, there must be something fishy. What if I tell you, all the positive placid reviews are paid for by placid? Yes, you heard that right. Today, I'll be exposing placid by demonstrating areas where it underperform. These are crucial points you must consider before subscribing to its paid plan. Before I move any further, let me clear the air. When I said Placid pays for its review, you see Placid offers huge commission for each affiliate sign up. All the review videos you have watched and the articles you have read carries Placid's affiliate link. Placid is incentivizing people to talk positive and good about it. You will hardly find any unbiased review out there. Let me be very honest and confess that I'll be doing a biased review here. I'll only talk about negatives of Placid. Placid is a great service and has a lot to offer. There's no denying that fact. There are tons of videos talking positively about Placid. I'm not going to reiterate things you already know. I'll be only talking about the things you wish you knew. So let us begin. Well, Placid services can broadly be clubbed into two simple things. They provide templates and an online editor tool to edit those templates. They provide templates for mockups, t-shirt designs, YouTube intros and outros, Twitch templates, social media templates, and recently they have also introduced video templates. The templates are no doubt great and professionally made, but I have a problem with their online editing tool. It is buggy, slow, and horrible. Uh, this is the design editing interface. We have the text layers on the left and icon and colors on the right. This template has only three text layers. To edit the text, I cannot double click to edit it. I'll have to edit this from this region. Changing color is pretty simple. If I wish to add a new icon, I'll have to choose it from the list below. The preview here is so small. Selecting the icon represents the current icon. It is too slow and looks buggy. What I hate more about it, you know, place it is highly templated. I cannot add any new text layers. I cannot add any new design element. There is absolutely no fucking flexibility. Even some basic edits you want to do are tough to achieve. Let me show you how poor the mockup editing interface is. I'll upload a design to this beautiful mockup. I'll click on the insert image and select this grandma mouse design. This is the region where I'm supposed to choose the position and scale of my design. Once done, I'll crop it. The mockup looks great. Changing color is simple as well. Now I want to change the position and size of this design. It's so tough. I'll have to click on this resize button. The design editing interface opens up again. I'll scale the design and place it on the top right corner. I would want the design to go a bit lower on the model's top. First, I'll have to wait for this cropping to process. And then I have to go back to the resize button and adjust it again. I have to repeat this process until I get the perfect placement. If we take a look at one of the placeit's competitor vexels, I'll upload the same design. It is pretty fast. Now I'll make the same adjustment as we did with the placeit mockup. To change the position, I'll hover over the design and drag it. I can change the size with the slider here. And I can even rotate the design with this rotation control. Place it. Why would you make this so hard? Bulk mockup feature. I will go back to my previous mockup. I have the design placed at the correct position. If I scroll down, I can see the design preview is applied to all the mockups below. This is amazing. As a print on demand seller, you'd want to upload one design and download mockups in bulk with different models and with different t-shirt color variations. Well, well, well. Place it disappoints here as well. This is place it feature request page where one customer asked for a feature to bulk download variations of mockup. Her request even got 278 upvotes. But uh, this is how Placid's CEO responded. So he made it pretty clear that this is not happening. If you are looking for bulk mockup feature that allows you to create mockups in bulk, do take a look at our website bulkmockup.com. This will make your life so much easier.
limited amount of mockups in other categories. Placeit started as a mockup service, but apart from T-shirt and apparel, if you look at their other categories, their mockup collection is very poor and limited. This is their mockup collection for wallet frame mockup. Looking at this, you'd say the collection is decent. But if you compare the mockup collection at Creative Market, you'll know what my point is. The same is true for phone case mockup as well. Poor and rude customer service. Well, with a company that is big in subscriber, it is hard to keep all the customers happy. The trust pilot review says it all. Sorry, customer service. Extremely rude customer service. Very bad customer service. Worst customer service experience of my life. Well, that sums up my bias towards place it. If you ask me, do I use them? Well, I used to use them, not anymore. Place it is highly overrated due to its network of affiliates. It fails miserably to deliver. Place it is a wannabe jack of all trades and master of none. If you are frustrated with Place it's buggy interface and poor services, you may want to look out for their alternatives. Canva is very good for designing and editing templates of all kind. Vexels is good for print on demand merch designs and mock up. And if you are looking to edit videos, you may want to visit capwin.com. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I make videos on mock ups and print on demand. If you want to learn more about mock ups, check my free course on Skillshare. Link is in the description below.